Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo weekly money and career reading from December 4th to the 10th, 2023. Virgos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Virgos weekly money and career, December 4th to the 10th, 2023. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout or on the hear out for the magic word at the end of the reading. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. Yes, these there are two more free readings for the month of December. And the month of November readings, uh, free readings will be announced, I believe, uh, this weekend, uh, Sunday. So if anybody's interested, Sunday, uh, I will be announcing, but also I will be doing uh, some readings, hopefully answering a few questions if you wish to connect. Okay, Virgos, weekly money and career, December 4th to the 10th, 2023. And even if you don't wanna put your name in the hat, just to empower yourself and empower others and bring in your energies to this platform, you can put the magic word down below. All right, Virgos. Well, these cards are quite silent, quite quiet, and Virgo. Okay, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Thank you for all your kind words and your well wishes. Yes, I am doing better. Two of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Wands, I like this. You're opening up to something new. You're broadening your spectrum. You're you're broadening your horizons. Maybe you're expanding your business or taking on more responsibility in a job. Or maybe you're starting a job that requires traveling or you're moving. Um, you're discovering a new energy with this new of, of this two of wands. Sorry, you're preparing, preparing uh, for this job, preparing for this business or this project, and that is really expanding your world and expanding to success. Um, I like this. It's really um, maybe even opening up to different, right? Planning your future, really. Uh, planning your future within your business or within a project here with the Page of Wands. It's new. You're curious. You're inspired. So are you de developing a new project? Are you starting a new job? Are you, are you just joining a new team and working on a project? Or really you're expanding your business, your knowledge, and you're opening up to the world. And now this job or this business or this, you know, energy requires you to go discover the world. So maybe you're traveling for this job, right? Or maybe it really um, requires you to work with other countries, to work internationally, to communicate, and to maybe you're going to build um, you know, start and, and work in an office in another country or another city, or it's really about um, connecting in a much wider perspective, wider way. And this is really opening up your future. I like this. King of Cups, it can be a wa uh, with a water sign. This can be your boss. This can be someone you're working with. Or um, or it can be you channeling your energies, filtering your energies, really being balanced emotionally and being able to navigate this new job or navigate these new energies 
because it's exciting you're but you're you're very much in tune with your emotions and making decisions with maturity with balance really navigating it feels like yes i'm seeing a surfer navigate uh, navigating surfing the waters very calm waters very calm way and just enjoying the vibe enjoying the ride right um and so here with the world yeah something is coming full circle for sure right you really you're happy you're glowing with a sense of achievement uh, because there's something that is completed you're completing one cycle and now you're stepping into your new role in this new job career business whatever it is um it's a sense of accomplishment right that you're at the right place that you feel that this is really um yes um, um it makes sense to you in your career and you're really expanding your career. So celebrate what you've done up to now. Celebrate all these goals or this goal that's sort of coming to fruition because I feel like you're you're expanding and and yet this is making you stronger and more experienced and you're really accepting to see things in a different way and you're not letting other people or harmful illusions you know get in your way on what you could do or could not do or is it time or is it not time and like i say everyone always has an opinion an opinion so acknowledge your place acknowledge your energy and everything you've accomplished up to now because it's really all about you virgo everything you have done you're completing the job you're the one expanding you're the one um taking on more responsibility or building this career um successfully and it's also about understanding the impact that you have within your community, within this job, within whatever responsibility you're taking on this path. I don't think it's a new path. I think you're really expanding your career. So if you have a business, you're expanding your business. If you're in a job, you're taking on more responsibility that's requiring you to communicate with the outside world, with the world, right, internationally, other countries, other cultures. And if not, you are taking on more responsibility within your job and maybe working on other projects. All right, let's see what we have here. Yes, celebrating. And exactly that, celebrating being in the right spot, four of wands. Feeling that this is, this is where you belong, right? Enjoying working with this team. Um, enjoying working with these people, collaborating. You're really in harmony um, when it comes to this job. You're really enjoying this environment, this company, or this team of people. It's, it's creative and you're growing, right? The Empress is all about understanding. Understanding where you stand, what this is all about, and what you bring to the table, and how interesting it is so you can participate and grow and create. She is all about... Now, you could also be um, with this empress. You can also be um, working on something very creative, very aesthetic, luxury items, um, you know, maybe like jewelry or clothing or cars or or you know or um perfume or art music um it's something that's very emotional and very aesthetic now it doesn't have to be that right it'll be different for everyone but she is the ultimate energy of beauty beauty and understanding so this is truly, again, between the Two of Wands and the Empress, a period of growth. 
and that everything you've planted up to now, everything you've worked hard on, all those jobs, all those ideas, those people you connected with, that the, the networking or the, just the jobs you have up to now have brought you here. Those seeds that you have planted or everything that you have planted is sort of bringing you to this moment of fruition. So take a moment to reflect on everything that surrounds you and offer that gratitude for everything that you have created up to now, that you have created so far, so you can continue to build on this energy and create even more in your life. This expansion is really not only expanding your knowledge and expanding um, almost like uh, physically, right? Working with, um, in a, on a wider perspective, on a wider spectrum, but it's also you growing creative wise. This is a different frame of mind. This is a different perspective. This is a whole new perspective. So it can be a new company or all of a sudden your inspiration or your intentions sort of jumpstart a whole new category of people or category of projects that you might not even have thought about, right? It's really growing into your new energy. So take... Um, um, take the time when, or allow yourself the time and the space to really enter a different frame of mind. This is a whole new ball game here, uh, Virgo. This You're entering a new category. So ground yourself with this new energy, with this expansive new energy, because it's vital for your well-being and your growth, right? To feel and see and understand that this is in a new space, a new way, a new category, maybe even a new language. I love this. I love this. You're really growing your career. Beautiful. Yes. Understanding. Again, understanding, understanding, but also being very honest with yourself, with the lovers. You're very clear on where you stand, on your objectives, on your values. You're, you're, you can be yourself. And I think that's why you're enjoying celebrating this newfound um, team you're on or newfound company you're on or newfound philosophy, whatever it is you're working on. This is something that is growing on you and that it's really giving you a sense of um, a sense of not priorities, but um, it's it's that sense of genuine and authentic, authentic personality being you. Now, we have the Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag, this can be someone you're working with, but mm, I think it's you bossing up. You're going from the Page of Wands to the Queen of Wands, and she's the boss. Like, she takes responsibility. She knows how to build, but she's also a little, she's charismatic, but also a little bossy, imposing, right? She wants to have things her way. Now, not gender specific, of course, right? But she is the the ultimate boss, right? You can't, you can't um, really sway her, right? She knows what she's doing, but she also has a personality that's a little imposing, right? Uh, can be very charismatic, can be very social, social butterfly, but it but it, when it comes to work, really, um, she likes to impose and be the boss. Well, maybe you are imposing and being the boss here, right? Because I think that now, now with the lovers, you're very clear on your choices. One, two, three, three major arcana coming together, but really growing into your own, growing into your responsibilities, growing in to your job and I think that now you can clearly articulate what you believe in, what you stand 
what you stand for and therefore communicate with this Queen of Wands if it's not you, although I do think it's you, coming into your own, really expanding your business or your job. It's exciting. It's exciting. But I think that here... Um, you're much more in harmony with your feelings, with your emotions. And you're, you're well, I, I feel like you always do, Virgo. You have an open heart. Uh, you know how to share emotions with others. Uh, but here, because you're so comfortable with working with these people or within this project, job, business, whatever it is, um, I think that now even more you can apply what you believe in and and i think you figured out figured that out you know along the way what your philosophy is or what you want in your job or what you will accept or not accept right and now you're ready to establish what is essential for you with this queen of wands imposing your point of view not in a bad way but you're less hesitant right so if this queen of this queen of wands is you, it's really about um, self confidence, self assured, passionate in what you do, passionate and determined, but also just very optimistic and happy uh, to be uh, in in this business situation, job, whatever it is, and you're very focused. You're very focused. Now, the Queen of Wands can be a little individualistic, a little self-centered, right? But very positive and uplifting, uplifting. And I think that you want to accomplish a lot. You want to accomplish a lot very quickly. It's sort of all of a sudden you're taking on new responsibility or things are going faster and you're getting more jobs or you have more work and you're expanding and all of a sudden, okay, everything has to be done yesterday. Now, this can also be your boss a little imposing in that way where, you know, rush, rush, rush. Come on, everything has to be done yesterday. And you have... Look at all these major arcana. You have the Wheel of Fortune. See, now it's moving forward. Everything is moving forward. So if you felt the situation was a little blocked, it's moving forward. You're unblocking something here, Virgo, with this wheel. Sorry, with this Wheel of Fortune. Here we go. Here's the roller coaster. Um, uh, Virgo, and in a good way, right? You're, you're, and en you're ending one cycle. You're, you're pushing into another one. Inevitable change of cycle, right? And and it's really about um, unblocking the situation. A whole new energy starting. A whole new energy pushing you forward with the wheel of fortune, and the wheel of fortune is there to. To say that this good karma and this good energy is coming in. And that positive energy you have, that optimism you have, Virgo, in this new situation. But I also feel like you usually have a um, pretty positive um, energy in what you start or at least when you start a job or start a project or start working with people I feel like you do have a real um, positive attitude excited excited to be part of the team that's the way it feels but with the wheel of fortune is understanding like okay now this can move forward it's just going to get better and better with luck coming on your side and that good fortune returning, right? So have faith in the universe, right? That life is about to change. This is pushing forward in a positive direction. So keep your mind open, right? Keep an open mind. And on um, synchronicities might start popping in. And so just be open to others, be open to the help of others, to situations, to other type of energies, other type of connections, because I think that you will gain support along this journey. So, you know, and, and it might not be with the people you think it is, but it's expanding and it's moving and it's moving forward fast. So 
but it's also important and that's why you have the king of cups to channel your energies and sort of accept what's happening and go with the flow even if it's not exactly what you thought it would be because there is a big big change here with the judgment it's a turning point in your career it's a turning point in your life and i think this is an opportunity you might not have imagined or at least not have imagined this way and so it is a huge change in your life. So allow the universe to guide you here and push, push forward. And you have the world with this, which can be competition, right? But you are accomplishing something. And it's also you're integrating something. So maybe you're really finally part of that team or finally part of that company or finally on that project you want it. It feels like a a true achievement. So again, long-term project or period of study or, um, or that career that finally is taking off, that business that's finally taking off or a graduation, right? It feels like you're achieving an aspiration or you're achie achieving that wish, that dream, that job, that career, whatever it is, right? Finally, um, finally, everything is sort of making sense in the right place where you sort of feel complete. But also, you feel more experienced. You feel stronger now. So celebrate this completion. It's going to set you up for success and it's going to set you up for the next challenge, right? Because we always have a next challenge. So you're there, and if you're not there yet, you're almost there. You can be traveling, of course, right, or studying overseas or working with overseas, but this is really about you accomplishing something and setting yourself up for the next level. And you have the judgment, which is that big decision. That big decision um, of a change of life, or a change of perspective, a change of career. But I think that the, with this judgment, like, you know, I always say judgment is rising up to something so much more because you're destined to so much more. So it's almost like your inner calling. This is what you have to do. So let go of your old self and, and sort of step into this newer version of yourself of who you really are because this matters. This makes sense to you, and this is a life-changing decision. So any choice you're making, any decision you're making is really going to have a significant impact for you, for the people around you, um, and with long-lasting effects. I think you're entering really a period of success, so trust your judgment, trust your intuition, as you move forward, you're almost there, right? It's it, everything's coming together. And I think that also that is permitting you to leave a lot of things behind detaching yourself from those emotions from those situations, and healing, healing deep wounds, healing the past, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a job, maybe, you know, because you have the wheel of fortune, which tells me that there were blockages, well, there are always blockages, right? But you're clearing all regrets, sort of releasing the guilt and purge, it's a purging process, really a purging process, and it'll be different for each and every one, right? But it's really about taking um, on this new challenge, new job, new business, new path, call it what you want. It'll be different for each and every one, but it's beautiful. I mean, one, two, three, four, five major kind of massive, massive change. But is it really a change? I feel like it's your, you know, you are changing inside your emotions, your intentions, your purpose profound, profound change and a profound um, change in approach in the way of um, moving your career forward or developing your career or expanding your career. Look at that. Two times the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful.
moving forward. Whatever whatever is happening, the energy is moving forward. You're healing, unblocking a situation. Um, and here we go on the new idea. Here we go with the pages. And the pages are all about beginnings. All about new, fresh energies, creative energies. There's the offer there. There's the idea there. Um, and it seems like you're excited to work on this new path after maybe difficult times. Yes. Oh, wow. Very nice. So we have the five of swords. There's your ego there. Virgo, whatever that means for you. I'm going to put that here. The ego battle, the competition. I feel like there's competition. I feel like there's competition in this company, in this job, in this field, whatever it is. You're not alone and you have to fight for your position, fight for your responsibilities, for the project, right? You're integrating uh, maybe you're integrating a big corporation or maybe you're integrating a team or maybe you're starting your business and you have to integrate other people and, you know, really expand your business and develop your business. This is the way it feels. And it feels like there's ego battle there, but not in a bad way. Just because you have to take your responsibilities here with the two of pentacles, you have to... Uh, uh, weigh the pros and cons on these decisions. What are your priorities? What is it that you need to push forward? How is this going to work? Who are you going to work with, right? Two of Pentacles. It's time now to prioritize and see uh, pragmatically what it is you have to make or to do to make it happen. And here we have beautiful, the Ace of Wands, and the chariot absolutely beautiful so we have the pure pure determination here with the chariot also this queen of wands right queen of wands and chariot a bit the same energy focus determine no one's going to get in your way a little self-centered because you want success you want it to happen quickly you want to be on top of the world and you want to be ruling. I don't know why I'm saying that, but if it's your business, that seems completely natural, right? You want to succeed. You want to be the boss. You want to make things happen. You want to move forward in a rapid way. There's nothing odd about that. And here you have the, the Ace of Wands. And this is the beginning of your new success. This is the beginning of your job, your business, the company you're working with, right? The, the project you're developing or even the diploma you're getting in your school. So here, it's all about your self-confidence with the chariot. You're ready. The chariot appears when you're ready, when you're stable, when you understand, and when you have everything you need to push forward the willpower the determination because you've set your objectives and you're really channeling your inner power to make it happen that's what the chariot is all about it's the dedication to what you have to do you're also committed disciplined to make it all happen you will succeed right but it's no time to be passive no time to sort of wait and hang out and hope for the best and hope that someone's going to bring something on a silver platter. No, it doesn't work that way, right? So draw upon your willpower and hone in on what is essential for you so you can push through all obstacles in your way. Because the chariot is there. The chariot is not about oh, it's going to be successful and right away and everything's perfect and you have the chariot and it's... No, the chariot is you, your energy to succeed, your determination, your commitment, your intentions. You know what you have to do to make it happen. That's why you have the two of pentacles. You've already weighed the pros and cons and, and figured out, you know, all the things you had to make happen. Apologies for the sirens every time I read their sirens. So I guess that means something at one point. Apologies for that. Uh, there's Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Uh, Virgo, a weekly 
Money and Career. December 4th to the 10th, 2023. Money and Career for the sign of Virgo. Let's see what messages we have for Virgo. Um, also, if anyone is interested in supporting this channel and helping, um, you can always uh, uh, become a member. I have set that up. Uh, and um, if you're interested, uh, I will be doing live readings. So uh, I'm waiting for more members to um, check in. And uh, I will start uh, hopefully weekly or biweekly um, or every other week uh, live readings. All right. Let's get started here on the message for the road. Eight of Wands. All right, Five of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. Moving forward. Moving for. Okay, so I feel like preceding this amazing reading... There has been a moment where either you thought you weren't making enough money or you felt left out, left out of the equation. Why not me? Why am not? Why am I not offered that job or why didn't get that promotion or why am I um why do I feel like I'm left out of this team? Right? The 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 this energy moving forward with this Eight of Wands is really pushing you, and the Two Times Wheel of Fortune is really that quick, that quick change, that fast action. It's almost like flipping a coin, and the action is happening again with your determination and your focus. But it's almost like you, the motor is starting, right? You're turning the key. And now you can move forward, build, and make it happen with the Ten of Cups. Happiness. Beautiful. Beautiful. But because you felt a sense of frustration, and maybe you have felt this frustration for a while, right? Not enough money, or not going fast enough, or wait a second, I wanted those responsibilities, or this is my business, I'm going to build that, right? Whatever that means. But there's really a... A quick change here, a quick change of dynamic and a quick change of energy. It's shifting, it's moving. Yes, we have the chariot and two times two times the wheel of fortune. I I just feel like there might be one more card or several in this deck. All right, the hermit, there you are, Virgo. So yes, the hermit. This is something you've thought out and you've thought out for a while and you're probably still thinking it out because you're still figuring out um, how you're going to operate, how this is going to happen. Um, you're still figuring out the logistics, the people. Yes, and you're moving out. Yes, you're moving out of something. Well, we have the world. Beginning of a new cycle, the end of a cycle. And I feel like the past cycle for you might have been a little frustrating and you're really letting go. As you have the judgment, you're still healing those wounds. Whether it's a past job, a past situation, even if it's family situation, friends, job, whatever it is that was triggering you, right? You're really moving past that. And you it's almost like those, that healing, that energy of healing, you're utilizing that and really taking that beautiful energy and applying it to integrate this new job, business, whatever. So all that energy of love and healing is now transformed into purpose and intention and motivation. Seven of Pentacles. Yes, a lot of investment, a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of you. I feel like you spend a lot of time preparing for this or reaching this level or getting this job or entering this school, whatever it is, right? It will be a different 
situation or journey for each and every one of you. But it's really, really a powerful statement to um, manifestation, motivation, and commitment to success. Wow. Wow. Um, and I think for that, I wish for the magic word to be commitment because it's powerful, but you're such a committed person and dedicated person to get the job done. You're a fixer, a maker, and you make it happen. So um, the magic word here is commitment, Virgo. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat to potentially get a free reading, uh, put the word commitment down below, or just if you want to share energies on this platform, share the word commitment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, Virgo. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.